behind Liz Bishop on this election day. And as we speak, people all over the capital region are headed to the polls to vote in not only local races, but on several key constitutional proposals that will have an impact on all of us. Pat Bailey joins us live now from our Capitol Bureau to fill us in on some of the big issues that are facing the voters today. Pat? Well, Liz, there's one thing to remember today. The theme of the day actually is going to be flip your ballot over. That's because that's where you'll find all those key constitution or those key proposals. Now, apparently, according to one of my LCA colleagues, it was a 1973 Rolling Stones cut, but today it means flip your ballot, turn it over if you want to vote on those propositions. You'll need to reverse the ballot. Many people don't even realize that all six of those propositions we've been telling you about, as you can see here, are on the back of the ballot today. So when you get in the booth and you want to vote on them, make sure that you flip them over and at the top of the list is that casino referendum the one we've been telling you about now for months the one that has created controversy on both sides of the aisle both wanting to get their voices out there before today's vote that's because if approved up to four resort style casinos could be placed in regions throughout upstate new york now they could be built within a few years but many people don't realize that within seven years if this referendum passes new york city would also be in play for a few casinos themselves again that would not take place for at least seven years. Now, supporters of casinos say that they will create jobs and tax revenue. Opponents say that it's already enough, there is already enough legal gambling in New York State between Indian style casinos and racinos. Now, also, as you can see on your screen, Kathy Sheehan at the top of the ballot here in the city of Albany is the race for mayor. That's what everybody's talking about in the city today. That's because for the first time in 20 years, the city will have a new mayor come January 1st. Current city treasurer Kathy Sheehan won the Democratic primary back in September, and today she is at the top of the ballot against three opponents, one each on the GOP, the conservative, and the Green Party lines. And speaking of Sheehan, who leads in many polls that were put out over the past couple of months, if she wins today, this would be the city's first female mayor as well. And Liz, I got a stat for you. Not only would Albany have a female mayor, but after tonight, the city of Syracuse, the city of Rochester, and the city of Albany, all three could have female mayors after tonight. All right, and uh, I, I know this is one of those elections where there are just a few key things that people are keeping an eye on. Anything else you want to kind of mention to people now if they haven't well, gone sure. to vote yet? Because if you do and you're looking at those propositions there and you did remember to turn over your ballot, then you're probably right. already formulated an opinion on this stuff. Sure. Well, there's another proposition we were telling you about yesterday that uh, the judges, the S state Supreme Court and state Court of Appeal judges, there's a proposition on there to raise their the age that they can retire. Right now they have to mandato retire mandatory at the age of 70, but that would raise the age to 80 years old. And that is uh, Proposition 6 on the ballot. Also, the New York City mayoral election, that could uh, play how the state legislature spends money and how funding goes down to New York City. They, too, get this, another stat for you. This will be the first Democratic mayor, if Bill de Blasio wins, who's leading in all of the polls, first Democratic mayor in the city of New York City since 1990. All right, we'll be talking more about that in just a minute, Pat. We're going to turn our attention now to Saratoga County. And speaking of women mayors,